disgusting slob! You know, we can learn a thing or two from even the most um, peculiar people. Today, for example, it looks like the revolting slob seems to be a teensy bit under the weather. Oh, what a shame. I'm afraid the revolting slob has a cold. Excuse me, Mr. Slob. I know that it was unintentional, but you really should cover your mouth when you sneeze. That's because your cold is A, combustible, B, contagious, or C, conditional. The answer is B, contagious, which means having an infection that you can give to other people. Phew! <laughs> Oh, Here. why, thank you. The revolting slob has yeah. just offered me his hanky. Yeah. Unfortunately, I can't accept it uh -huh. because it's A, unleavened, B, unhygienic, or C, unheeded. <laughs> the correct answer is B, unhygienic which means the tissue is dripping with nasty germs. You know, if you want to get better, you really should drink lots of fluids. You know, drink lots of water. Oh, dear. I'm afraid you just drank your dirty dishwater. But it won't make you better. Yeah. You know, you actually look well for a revolting slob. Party! My, what a change. Has the revolting slob now A, recuperated, B, recorded, or C, recanted? The correct answer is A, recuperated, which means to regain one's health. Let's review, shall we? Revolting slob's cold is contagious. I can't accept his germ-infested handkerchief. That would be unhygienic. Poor slob. He's very sick. Top of the world, but his amazing return to health shows he has recuperated. And by the way, Mr. Slob, you might be interested in knowing that combustible can mean violent agitation causing an explosion. No slobs, contagious or otherwise, were harmed in the filming of this show. Shiver me timbers! Yo ho ho! Look alive, ye lollygaggers! I am the incredibly dead Captain Bones. I've been sailing the seven seas for an eternity, and I'll tell ya, I'm a bored stiff. The only thing that saves me from going stark raven mad is making up math puzzles using nothing but me own bones. Now watch closely, and just do as I say, or I'll surprise the life out of ye. Just watch me, Bones. Let me show you what I mean. What's the matter? Can't handle a little math puzzle? Now you know that one and one don't come to three. 
But can you fix her up so she makes sense? Just by moving one of me bones? Are you paying attention? There you have it. One plus one equals but two. Weren't nothing to it, if you roll up your sleeves and concentrate. Got the idea? Good, cause you're to navigate the high seas without me on the next one. First, let me shovel up me bones. Now, don't be telling me that five plus seven equals five, or I'd swear the scurvy's gotten you to be sure. So can you fix me bones and set her straight? Remember, you're to move only one of them, just like I showed you not a moment ago. <laughs> What's taking you so long, you little... I can step through the screen. I slap some sense into ye with me bony hands. <laughs> All right, here's a clue for you. Me bone must move from one side of the equal sign to the other. That means two numbers need to change. Five plus one is what then, eh? Arr, enough already. Can't a pirate rest in peace? The answer is five plus one equals six. You lint brush using, oh, oh, does my hair look all right, whimpering pretty boys? I suppose I'll be needing to show you a second time. Ah, if that was too tough for you, next time I'll be sure to cut all the crusts off first, you finger sandwich nibbling, solid fork needing dilettantes. Arr, I'd rather die. Again. Come on, you fuckers of bulls. We got a game to make. Get the letter out. Wow. Hey, woman. Here, take this. Hi. It's your friend Sketch here to lay something heavy on you. Just cause you got eyes doesn't mean you always see. You got to get the whole picture before you really know what's going down. Don't believe me? Well, I'm gonna show you some pages from my sketch pad, but not every page. See if you can tell what's happening before I show you the missing pages. You dig? Now picture this. Two fathers and two sons decide to go fishing. The dudes had themselves a real fab day. In fact, everybody catches themselves a fish. When they go home, they count up the fish. But dig, there are only three. Like I said, two fathers and two sons all catch a fish, but only three fish are caught. Crazy, man. Are you switched on to the scene? Can you figure out what really went down before I lay the missing pages of my sketch pad on you? Remember, you can look, but you don't always see. Check it out. Now, you might think the two of them cats caught the same fish, but that ain't it. You may be thinking they had one fish for lunch, but that ain't it. Or maybe you were thinking one of those fish got away. <laughs> but that ain't it either. Truth is, each person got exactly one fish. So you gotta ask yourself, when can two fathers and two sons be only three people? Are you seeing it now? When one of them's a father and a son. Can you dig? The little boy's father is also the older man's son. That makes two fathers and two sons, but only three people. <laughs> and that means three fish. Like I've been telling you, when you really use your eyes, you're gonna draw the right conclusion. Or 
Ladies and gentlemen, hey, 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 I'm talking here. That's better. All right, it's time once again to play... Hoop or Scoop? Can you tell the straight scoop true from the animal poop false? Test your knowledge of the animal kingdom by separating fact from fiction. And if you don't think we've got a really big show for you, listen to this. Poop or Scoop? Some rodents weigh more than 100 pounds. What do you think? Can rodents really get that big? If you smell a rat, say poop. But if you think this tale is true, call it the straight scoop. Straight scoop. The answer is, it's the straight scoop. Yay. When you think of rodents, you usually think of rats and mice. But the king of all rodents has to be their big cousin, the capybara. Capybaras live in the Amazon and can grow to weigh as much as 140 pounds. Wow. Poop or scope? The rhinoceros's horn is made of hair. What do you say? Is the rhino's horn made of hair? If you think you can just brush that aside, vote poop. But if you think this is one hair-raising story, vote scope. It's the straight scope. Yay! That's right. And I'm not talking about a little bit of hair on that chinny chin chin. In fact, the rhinoceros's horn isn't really a horn at all. It's made of, you guessed it, hair. Only it's wrapped so tightly together, it makes for one tough customer. Talk about your bad hair day. Okay, now chew on this one. Poop or scope? Cows have four stomachs instead of one to help digest all that grass. What's it gonna be? Poop or scope? Do cows have four stomachs? If you think it's a bum steer, go with poop. If it rings a bell, scoop. The answer is, it's the straight scoop. Digesting all that grass can be awful hard on the stomach. That's why cows have four of them. They chew grass, churn it in their stomachs, then show it some more. I cud you not. Okay, kids, this little fish known as the wrasse can swim safely among predators because it's deadly poisonous. Poop or scope? Is the wrasse safe from predators because he's poisonous? The answer is poop. The wrasse is safe from these nasty predators, not because he's poisonous, but because he keeps their skin and teeth free of bacteria and parasites. Now, if they can only find someone to do their hair and nails, uh -huh. Well, kids, that's all we got for you today. If you got only one right, you're a party pooper. Two, and you're a pooper scooper. Three makes you a super pooper scooper. If you got all four questions, you're what else? A super duper pooper scooper. I'm telling you, you can't get this kind of entertainment just anywhere. So please join us again next time for. Yeah.